Okay, FGHI is a cyclic quadrilateral. FGHI, all the vertices touch the edge of the circle. FI, this one here, is the diameter. That's quite important for this question. And JF, JF is a tangent to the circle at F. And GH, GH is parallel to FI. And angle JFH... J F H so this angle here is equal to 112 degrees. Calculate angle G F H. Good idea to identify the angle that we need to find, which is this one. Now this requires a little bit of thought because it have, we have to break it down into stages. So the first thing we're going to do is consider triangle F H I. I'm just going to highlight that for you. Because this line here is a diameter, that's the centre of the circle. This angle here will be 90 degrees. Angles in a semicircle is the theorem. You're not asked to write any theorems down, but it's a good idea just so you can follow what's going on. Right. So angle JFI, JFI, this angle here is 90 degrees, and that's the tangent, tangent radius property. Angle HFI, HFI, which is this angle here, this one, is going to be uh, 112, because all of this angle here is 112, and we just said that this is worth 90, so 112 minus 90, which is 22. And then angle FIH... F I H. The remaining angle in this triangle is going to be 180 minus 90 minus 122 angles in a triangle, which is 68 degrees. So we've got some information about this triangle. We've got all the angles now. Right, transferring that to this diagram. Right, angle I H F I H. Sorry, I H G. This angle here. All right, because this line and this line is parallel, these, this angle and this angle here are allied, therefore they add up to 180. Therefore, this angle here is 180 minus 68, which gives me 112. All right, now because this is a cyclic quadrilateral, I'm just going to highlight that in red as well. Okay, this is a cyclic quadrilateral. This angle and all of this angle here, all of it, add up to uh, 180. Therefore, we can find angle GFI, GFI, all of this, this orange one here, is going to be 180 minus 112, which opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, which again is equal to 68, all right? So if this is 68, then the angle that we wanted is going to be 68 minus 22, which gives me 46 degrees. Okay, so it did require quite a lot of thought, quite a few steps there, about four or five uh, different steps. In the question, you weren't asked to write down reasons. Okay, I hope you've understood. Uh, if not, just rewind the video and watch it again step by step. I thank you very much for watching.